Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today, we're doing our buffet tour here for the Barcelo Maya Tropical and the Barcelo Maya Colonial. The reason why we're doing both in one go here is that these two actually share a buffet. I just want to show you guys some nice Jaguar statues while we're talking. Um, these ones share a buffet. Yes, yeah, so these buffets will rotate their openings um, one day after the other. So right now, the uh, buffet colonial side is open in terms of the dining room, but the buffet uh, food itself is shared in like this common area just kind of behind this wall right here. So this is buffet tropico and this is buffet colonial. As you can see, the sign is kind of up right now. But um, without further ado, let's go inside and check out some of the food offered here at breakfast and then we'll follow that up with a uh, dinner buffet tour for these two restaurants. Alright, so this is the dining room. It's pretty busy in here right now and it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. It's one hour after it's uh, open. So we'll, uh, we're in this big room right here and this is the room that you can use to get any food for breakfast. So it's not a huge buffet uh, in comparison to the beach and the uh, Caribe that we saw. But um, yeah, we'll let's take a look at some of the food. So if we turn over this way, we can see some hot oatmeal. We can grab a bowl and there's some toppings here with some sugar, granola, honey. And then they even have some hot chocolate to go along with that. We have some um, little cakes here too, just here. And then just to the left of that, we've got some different packaged cereals, as you can see, and some milks to go along with that too. Some cold and chocolate. There's even, even some ju fresh juices here. We've got some uh, pineapple juice, we've got some tangerine juice, orange juice, and I think these are both orange juice. Over here it looks like they've got some milk alternatives, which is really nice. So they've got some uh, almond milk, soy milk. So we've got light, skimmed, and then light lactose-free and regular lactose-free. Here we've got a nice big toaster, and there's some fresh breads here too to, to toast. And we've got some um, different uh, bread offerings here. We've got some croissants. Uh, we've got some like little pastries all across here. There's some jams and such, croissants. We've got cinnamon buns and muffins. We've got some like little uh, chocolate filled pastries and some bagels here. Okay, we're gonna take a trip down the back wall here. There's not too many people, so that's always good. So we have got some fresh fruits. We've got some watermelon and some mango. We've got some honeydew and uh, it says tuna at the moment, just up here but that is a, those are prickly pears. Cantaloupe and pineapple, and we've got some papaya here too. Just beside that, we've got some green apple and some um, dragon fruit in the back, just there. We've got some pear and cherry syrup, tangerines here in syrup, and then some cherry, more cherries in syrup here. These are, actually look like strawberries, if I'm not mistaken. Some guava, apple, and some oranges. And we've got some toppings here if you want to make like some yogurt, which we're going to see in just a second. You can see the toppings that are offered for the yogurts and fruit. So here's some more fruit, some grapefruit, kiwi, and mixed fruit just here. And then in the back we've got cottage cheese, peach yogurt, natural yogurt, and strawberry yogurt just here. If you prefer some packaged yogurt, we've got some packaged yogurt here. So it looks like there's just plain yogurt here packaged at the moment. And then inside these um, Yoplait uh, containers, we've got different flavors. Like, actually, I'm only seeing a natural flavor at the moment. From the fresh fruit, just turning over this way, we can see more cold preparations, like some meats. So we've got some salamis, some, uh, we've got some spicy calabries, turkey, prosciutto, and then some hams over here, like turkey ham, smoked ham, and York ham. Here's some um, like cut up baguette and some oils to go along. There's some ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. We've got some tuna, we've got some uh, pickles, tomatoes, olives, onion. This is a good spot to make like, a nice salad with some dressings here. And we've got some cucumber and peppers, zucchini, olives, carrots, tomatoes, and peas. So a nice little healthy option for a cold salad. They also indicate this is the vegan station. So as you can see here, there's the uh, vegan station here. So I just don't know if some of, some of these, you might want to double check with some of those uh, sauces that they are in fact vegan. But on the end here, we have some fresh whole fruits like apples and pears, bananas, guavas, lots of awesome options. Oh, here's some of the uh, flavored yogurt. So we have some apple, mango, peach, and some mango um, yoplait in the back. And we have some um, jellos here as well. 
And then over here we've got like some strawberry and cookies and cream yogurt as well, along with some coconut and uh, another set of strawberries. So here's where the flavored yogurts are. This is a gluten-free station, so we've got some breads and some muffins to go along with your meal, and it's gluten-free as it says here. Here we've got some cheese, we've got some pepper jack, panela, here and here. We've got some Swiss cheese, uh, Hawaka cheese, cream cheese here for any breads or bagels, some smoked salmon, provolone, and some Dutch cheese here too. All right, so here we have an omelet station. As you can see, they're preparing fresh omelets. I'll give you a look at some of the um, different things you can put in your omelet. So we've got some jalapeno, some mozzarella, onion, um, looks like some salad or lettuce. There's some white onion here, lime, tomato, pepper, and looks like radishes in the back. And they'll fry up a nice fresh omelet for you here. I think you can even ask them for some fresh eggs as well, some fried eggs, your style. Over here we have some pancakes and waffles, some crepes, churros, French toast. All right, over here we have some peanut butters, some honey. The honey's coming fresh out of a uh, honeycomb here, as you can see. That's really nice. And then some condensed milk and some caramel milk. In these like hot cases here we have, uh, it looks like ratatouille, uh, chilaquiles, and we have some enchiladas here for if you want a little bit of a Mexican style for breakfast. All right, and over here in this corner, as you can see, the um, the like the buffet is lowered down a little bit for kids. This is the kids corner. Right, so over here at the kids corner, we've got some grilled cheese sandwiches, some ham and cheese sandwiches. We've got some um, bread with beans, ham and cheese just here. We've got some mini pizzas in the back, chicken nuggets, and then some caramel apples. And then just left of that, we've got some pretty unique desserts here, as you can see, like some different cakes and tarts. And then here, they've kind of cut the watermelon, but put like a watermelon jello on the end, so it's kind of cute. It's like a, almost like a healthy option, but it's not, so it's kind of like a cool dessert. And then they've got some kids' yo plays here too. Okay, so I've kind of broken this up a little bit because I'm trying to stay out of people's way here, but we have one more station left. And that's going to be a lot of the hot food here that's offered like eggs and bacon and uh, hash browns and things like that. So we'll start over here. This is going to be the Mexican area where it's like more hot food. Over here we have some uh, fried tacos with chicken and then uh, chilaquiles at the back here. We've got some enchiladas in the back and then some refried beans. Here's like a chicken kind of, I think, don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to show you here on the sign here. Uh, so that's the like Spanish word for what is being shown right now. And then some ch chilaquiles in the back, just there. And then some uh, fresh tortillas. Just to the left of that, there's another omelet station here uh, with some more toppings just beyond there. I'm just not gonna wanna get in people's way here. And then we have some, um, some squash, we have some beef stew, baked potatoes, and then some chicken and cream sauce with mushroom. Here we have some pork and zucchini, some chicken fajitas, and then some hash browns in the back some fried breakfast sausages, and then here we have like a fried tortilla with beans and fried eggs, kind of like a nice little Mexican style egg. We have some chickpea stew and some fried plantain. And again, one more uh, um, omelet station here too. So I've got three omelet stations, which is really awesome. Finally, our last station, we have scrambled eggs, some pre-made ham and cheese omelets, some bacon and turkey bacon, with some scrambled eggs with chorizo, and then a white omelet with vegetables here. All right, so I'm back out in the front area, just a bit more quieter, just to wrap things up. Here's these Dragwire statues. But um, yeah, so hopefully that was helpful to see the breakfast offerings here at Colonial and um, Tropical. We're gonna turn things over to dinner time to show you what it looks like here at dinner in the buffet. All right, welcome back everybody to dinner time here at the Colonial and the Tropical. So as you can see over here, the buffet Tropical is closed for the dining room. But again, the buffet connects inside here. So we're gonna be going inside the um, Buffet Colonial and then taking a look at the buffet, which is going to be used for both hotels. So let's head inside and take a look at dinner. All right, so we're back in the buffet. I'm gonna start around this way because there's nobody over this side. We've got some uh, hot soups here. We've got uh, like a beef broth soup. We've got some different toppings to put on your soup here. We've got a uh, clam chowder soup, which looks really yummy. Over here, we've got some uh, watermelon tamarind, cantaloupe, and hibiscus. These look kind of neat. Almost like a hibiscus tea, maybe? Cool. And then over here, we've got some uh, pulled pork, beef and pork dish. And then here, uh, like a pork rib stew. And they're making some um, 
some tortillas like wrapped with the uh, the meat stuffings over here and then some toppings to go along with that like sour cream peppers cheese uh, a little bit of a red sauce here and then some uh, garnish on the back just across from that we've got our bread station so we've got some uh, bread we can get toasted up here we've got some dinner rolls here just wrapping around this one here and it's a little bit busy today at the buffet so we're going to do our best to try to see if we can find or take a look at each thing without getting in people's way here as we try to do always here we have like a like kind of like barbecue potato wedges we have some um, some looks like some naan bread almost and then some hummus and then some uh, vegetables with couscous here here we have a gluten-free station so we've got some uh, gluten-free breads and uh, like a little dessert like a little muffin there in this uh, first hot area here we've got some uh, beef and mushroom sauce we've got some mashed potatoes in the back it looks like we've got like a full-on turkey roast here they've chopped up some turkey for the guests with some different potato wedges some pork and barbecue sauce and then some baked potato in the back in these hot containers here we've got some chicken and then we've got some uh, beef here too looks like it's been uh, roasted and then just here we have some pork chop here we have Kentucky style chicken corn some carrots and spring rice a beef cake which almost looks like a meatloaf and then tomato gratin in the back we've got some garlic fish and then some mushrooms with uh, white wine sauce a really big kind of seafood almost like a paella here seafood style uh, Louisiana and then salmon in a sort of a menier sauce like a like a white sauce kind of salmon in the back so just down from that we've got some pastas we've got like a rigatoni and bechamel spaghetti with bolognese sauce over here mac and cheese mmm yum we've got a fusilli and pomodoro sauce fettuccine alfredo and a penne with a uh, arrabbiata sauce here in the back wrapping around this way we've got some toppings here so we've got some like jalapeno got some onion some lettuce some cheese some tomato then we've got some mustard mayo and ketchup onions um, and then some more tomatoes in the back slices looks like these would be good to go along with like some hot dogs or hamburgers because I'm pretty sure I missed just over here behind me some hamburgers that you can get from these trays right here all right so just taking a little break from the hot food the salad bar was empty right now so we'll take a quick peek through here all the different stuff you can get from salads we got some olives and dressings carrots and broccoli We've got some uh, lettuce limes more dressings here some shallots cucumber mushrooms tomato all kinds of stuff to make yourself a nice salad and then on the other side we've got some cold cuts we've got some ham all kinds of different salami some more ham we've got some mortadella We've got some roast beef and turkey some uh, pork and then some spicy uh, saprasada um, salami here as well with some dates or prunes on top just to the left of that we have our cheese station We've got some crumbly blue cheese here which looks delicious some natural goat cheese We've got some brie cheese up the steps here too adam cheese pepper jack cheese and then some mozzarella cheese and in addition to some what they call ash goat cheese which looks kind of cool i think that because of that sort of um, black hue on the top of the goat cheese and then just wrapping around the other side we have some beet salad um, an american salad which looks like coleslaw a mixed green salad with beans broccoli and zucchini this is a chef salad which uh, kind of looks like a cob salad almost but it's got olives in it so maybe not <laughs> but it's got some good stuff in there we've got a traditional pasta salad here a salad russian style with chicken and then we have a waldorf salad which looks like really nice for dessert but maybe a little sweet and then a para salad in the back and all kinds of different like peppers and salts and different things to top your salad with here and oils in the back as well all right so this station here that in front of me is very busy so it's a customized pasta salad but you can get different types of pasta you can get uh, different toppings in, in your pasta as well like mushrooms and different types of meats and chickpeas and peas and things like that i just don't want to disturb people so i'm going to kind of walk away from that but you can see how busy it is it's very popular over here we've got a wood fire oven in the back with making some pizzas as you can see here too and then here if you'd like some uh, tostitos and cheese we've got some um, 
We've got some refried beans here. Actually, they've got them in backwards. So this is the uh, cheese, and then the refried beans over here. They just got the tags missing here, or tags backwards here. All right, over here in Kids Corner, we've got some uh, spaghetti with meatballs. We've got some ham and cheese, little sandwiches back there. We've got some potato wedges, and then some uh, flour tortillas with ham and cheese. We've got some fish fingers. Sandwiches with ham and cheese and then over here. We've got a whole assortment of desserts, which look absolutely delicious And again, I like how they just kind of lower this down for the kids in kids corner All right and finishing off dinner. We've got some desserts. We've got some eclairs here Looks like we've got some like mousse in these glasses here a blackberry roll And then in these martini glasses, we got a chocolate mousse as well an almond tart. They look really good We've got a fruit tart here, and then inside the martini glasses again, some more mousse here and here. Looks like maybe vanilla and strawberry. A chocolate brownie, those look really yummy. And then here, a cheesecake. And then finally over here, we have a banana with chocolate. These are like kind of banana sundaes almost, but they don't have ice cream. They've got like a pudding on the bottom too, but all nicely decorated with strawberries, chocolate sauce, and sprinkles, and whipped cream. And then lastly here, just beside the desserts, we've got some uh, fresh fruits. We've got some oranges, tangerine, pineapple, watermelon. We've got some cantaloupe and honeydew. And then just to the left here, we've got some uh, sundae bowls and uh, some ice cream cones. Because just to the left, we've got some soft serve. So we've got the uh, vanilla, I think a mix swirl, and then uh, chocolate. I think it's actually backwards. Chocolate, swirl, and vanilla here, as it says, just on the top. All right, back out in the kind of like foyer area. That's going to do it for our video here at the uh, buffets for breakfast and dinner here at Colonial and Tropical. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you found it helpful in taking a look at some of the food selections offered at the buffets here, give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next.